Hotep Virgo, welcome to your bonus Lovers Abyss reading. I am Cosmic Divine Tarot and this is for your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. And if it resonates with you, Virgo, then go ahead, hit that like, share, subscribe to my channel, hit the bell notifier to know and I will be uploading new messages for you, my darling. Now, if this is not your message, Virgo, then don't worry about any of that. I'm just going to go ahead and get you next time I get your reading, okay? Now, Virgo, if you would like to donate to my channel, then the link to my cash app as well as my PayPal is in the description box below. And I certainly will appreciate any donations that you guys can give me, okay? Now, let's get into your bonus reading, my darling. Have the dark mirror, okay? Shuffled a hundred times, and these are the cards that I got for you, my doll Ling. First, you have envious gluttony and triumph of lies, all right? Now, this envious glutton card tells me that there is somebody who may be looking at you or looking at your relationship and is very envious of it, okay? Somebody would perhaps want your person or Virgo, somebody may want you, okay? Now, you have... Um, triumph of lies that is because you or your person is the one here with this crown on and everybody else is looking at you as if they want you virgo or like i said your person now <clears throat> let's get the Oroya dark tarot to get a little bit more information about this whole situation my love because it looks like apparently somebody is very envious. It could be that uh, your relationship is uh, that crown. That you and your person are on like high ground with each other. And everything is going very smooth. And other people are around you. And they're like uh, seeing how everything is going smooth around you. But uh, it's like you're very envious. Mm. I don't mean you are, my darling. I mean the people are. They are very envious of your relationship. They're very envious of your person. Maybe your person is very handsome. Maybe your person is very well off. Oh, my darling, maybe you are. Maybe this is your person, how they feel about you. Let's go ahead and uh, get your messages. Now, Virgo, during your bonus reading, I'm going to be reading reversal. So, however the cards come out in reverse... I will read them, and I'm also going to be uh, pulling the cards. <laughs> okay, let's see, my darling. Mm. Got all three of these that came out. All right, let's get it, Virgo. You got the Two of Swords here. Uh, the Two of Swords is uh, look like uh, one of these people who was looking at y'all, or your person seems to be looking at you. And you don't know that your person is looking at you this way. That's why you have triumph of lies, Virgo. It's like you don't know that your person may be envious of you because maybe you haven't uh, experienced the things in your life that they have experienced. Or maybe they're jealous of you because you have other people uh, wanting you, my darling. Very interesting. Now here we have the... Uh, king of pentacles all right um if you take a close look at this virgo you can see that there is uh this type of person behind this girl who is booty butt naked here okay it looks like maybe virgo you may have people who are after you because you have a very beautiful physique, okay? And people are looking at you and want you and throwing pentacles at you like, you know, that you're because you're somebody who uh, they want to have in their life. And you don't know that your person is looking at you uh, and these other people. Now, here we have the Seven of Swords, my darling. Hmm. Okay, well, let's swing it the other way, okay? These people could be looking at your relationship, like your person uh, 
could be this king of pentacles and you and them are getting it on y'all having all types of uh love making sessions and uh you have people who are looking at y'all looks like three people who are looking at you wanting you or wanting your person and they're going to do whatever it takes to break you guys up with the seven of swords i mean they look very vicious virgo very vicious mm. Well, it could also be saying that if this is your person, because I'm going to tell you both stories, Virgo. I'm not just going to go one way. Uh, if this is your person that is maybe envious of you or, or uh, you know, upset about your accomplishments in life or the things that they don't have, you have, and you don't know that your person is seeing you this way, then it could be all three of these, um, uh, I don't know, vampires is different things that they are jealous of you about okay hmm. it could be all types of different things that they see in you that they would prefer to have themselves now let me get you this uh tarot of sexual magic and i know that just took a really dark turn didn't it virgo this took a pretty dark turn seems like maybe your person uh is into some type of dark energy anyway and it's like they got a lot of things that they are dealing with, my darling. They have a lot of things. And it's like, this person just needs a lot of work. They just need a lot of work. If they are jealous of you now and your accomplishments, then that right there is not cool, Virgo. Because we all are working towards our goals and the things that we want in life. Now, what other messages do we have for Virgo? Ten of Cups. The Ten of Cups. Okay. Yeah, Virgo. You don't see this. You don't see how your person who is professing to love you with the Ten of Cups here. And yes, they do have a lot of affection for you and a lot of love for you. But you don't see this other side to them. Because your back be turned here and you be doing other things, Virgo. And this person is looking at you doing those other things and they're not, uh, you know happy about it because i think that they will prefer you to be another type of way okay you may be dealing with a cancer pisces scorpio they probably prefer you to be some other type of way and it's like you know this person uh doesn't like your your accomplishments like i said your accomplishments and and, and the things that you have done perhaps even your beauty your physique like i was saying here so you got all these muscles and whatnot and this person uh they don't want anybody else seeing you or taking you from them too all right now here's the uh, king of pentacles my darling this is symbolic of the emperor uh your person i feel is about to come out of this whole uh energy because this is them over here hiding this uh person that they are okay they're about to reveal that to you virgo because this is you standing here this is you as the king of pentacles this is your energy okay your person standing over here all shy like a like a water energy cancer pisces scorpio okay they're about to come out of that and show you uh how they feel okay like they are not somebody who you think they are my darling what other messages do we have for whoa that shot all the way over there Mhm. Mm oh yes okay well it's about other people virgo okay it's about other people it's not necessarily about you or it could be about you and other people uh they they feel that there is competition there's a five of of uh wands here they feel it's competition they feel that they may come back or come to you one day and see that this uh sword right here is somebody who is seducing you and have this long hard uh you know phallus inside of you or you have your long hard phallus inside of somebody else okay and they just uh maybe they just feel like you would um have somebody like that because they're not as accomplished as you now here is the uh the ace of swords okay 
The Ace of Swords is like, you know, this is somebody who is uh, dominating the other person and tying them up. Like I said, utilizing this whole uh, strong seduction here. The Ace of Swords is also someone who is speaking the truth. Okay. It came out in reverse. So that being on the King of Pentacles and the upright is, yeah, somebody is not being truthful here. Somebody is not being truthful to you. Virgo, it looks like you had this person who was open to you at one time, okay? That you and this person was having all types of sex and, uh, you know, they was hitting it from the back, but you couldn't see this person's face, all right? This person was very envious and very, uh, you know, angry at the fact that you may uh, go ahead and find somebody who is a, a better match for you than they are, okay? So they're not happy about that. They've been having a lot of sex with you, my darling, but they uh, have also been having a lot of, like, envious sex with you, okay? Like, you know, possessive sex with you, like, you're mine. You know, you've probably been hearing that a lot. You've probably been hearing them tell you that it's theirs or, you know, you better not ever give it away to anybody else or they will, you know, do all types of crazy things because you're dealing with somebody who got, like, some type of dark energy. Now, here we have uh, the Queen of Wands right here, love. Uh, the Queen of Wands is somebody, yeah, who is very popular. Everybody's looking at her. That's you, Virgo. Okay, everybody's looking at you. However, it came out in reverse, my darling, which means that uh, they want people to stop looking at you. They want you to stop being so popular with people. Okay? Here's the Six of uh, Swords right here. They just want it to be you and them they wanted to be you and them making love as a matter of fact when we look at this card we can see that virgo this person is wearing you out it's like this person is making sure that you don't have any kind of energy left to even uh have anybody like this looking at you like you know it's like you don't have any type of um you know <laughs> sexual desire any type of passion for anybody else because this person is constantly in you okay or they got you constantly in them virgo it's like look at this person the, look at the the male here it looks like he is uh kind of tired himself okay <laughs> so if you're a male mass uh a masculine uh, Virgo, yeah, you're tired. You're tired of giving over your seed, but your your mate is somebody who don't want you to ever, ever give it to anybody else. Okay. Now here we got the uh, devil energy, the devil energy. Okay. First of all, in the upright, this is somebody who is very like magnetic and and you know sexually attractive. Okay, or bringing in a lot of people who is sexually attractive to them. However, in reverse, it means that this type of energy is uh, stronger. Okay, so these type of people who is around you will be trying stronger to get your attention, my darling. Stronger to try to, uh, you know, make you interested in them, Virgo. And uh, I'm thinking, here we got the uh, magician here. So with the magician here, maybe these people will be trying to do work, like spell work, like bewitch you some type of way to uh, to get away from your person. Hmm. And with the divine will of destiny, like I said, three of them, <laughs> there are three of them here, okay? These people are trying to, uh, you know, seduce you, Virgo. They're trying to seduce you by all means necessary, and they've been trying to do that for some time now. Okay, and you don't know that your person is watching you and these people as well. And it's like, you know, it's going to take you by surprise when this person tells you uh, that um, they feel that you've been lying to them about these people because you haven't, Virgo. You haven't been lying to them about these people. Here's the uh, the world right here. It doesn't matter if somebody is uh, interested in you, Virgo, because you 
are this person's world and they are your world, okay? This person has you up on an altar when they are worshiping your body, your naked body. They are, you know, kissing you from, from your toes all the way up to your head. This person, they like to see you naked too, okay? They like to see you with all your clothes off. They like to see you, uh, you know, sleeping. And they like to take the, the cover off you and just look at your naked body. And sometimes you don't even know that this person is watching you like that, okay? But this person has you on an altar to where they are worshiping your body. Like, they be kissing you a lot of times. A lot of times you wake up to this person having all kinds of oral sex uh, with you. And it's like you are... <laughs> You wake up to orgasms because this person is worshiping your body, my darling. Now here we have the two of swords here. Yes, you're not interested in taking anybody else's offer, Virgo, because like I said, this person is balls deep inside you a lot, okay? <laughs> or you're balls deep inside of somebody else a lot, all right? And it's like... As many times as you are spilling your seed, you don't got time to be concerned about anybody else. Now, let me get you one more card here, or at least two more cards. Here is the tower here and the nine of um, chalices. All right. Your person is concerned about that tower. They are talking to you, and it's like... You're like, you don't understand how this person can even feel this way because you know, you're like, you got your, your, your panties on and your bra or you just got a, a towel around you and it's like, you don't understand why your person is feeling the way that they're feeling because y'all two are just so engrossed in each other, just making so much love to each other, just having so much, um, you know, sex with each other. You don't understand why they think somebody else is going to come in and take you away from them when they got your legs open like this and got you pulled up off the daggone bed and going in you like uh, you just can't even take it anymore this person having so much daggone sex with you this person in the back don't stand a chance to come and take you away from them so you don't get it you don't get it virgo but here is the uh love oracle card i shuffled a hundred times and pulled you these here we got deal breakers Okay, it says, list and adhere to your deal breakers. The universe will support you staying true to yourself. Okay? So, you know, the person needs to know that uh, the universe is in support of this relationship because you are staying true to uh, this and you are staying true to them. Okay? That uh, if you go and cheat or if they go and cheat, that is a deal breaker. So, you're not going to do anything like that. Uh, now, here is beware of dating patterns. Stop what doesn't work. Subliminals change the subconscious mind. They're, they're going to have to change this subconsciousness that they have in themselves that they are um, going to lose you to somebody else. Now, here is muscleless. Be unapologetic. <laughs> I hate that word. Be unapologetic. Whatever. Uh, Self-loving, uh, decide on must-haves, then release it to the universe, okay? So don't apologize about loving yourself. Decide on must-haves, okay, and release it to the universe. All right, now here we got dating. You're only dating this person. They need to realize that. Now here we got R, will likely be dating, like each other, enjoying each other's company, seeing each other, okay? So they need to stop this whole... Uh, you dating other people because you're not baby you are just with them you can't help it if other people are interested in you now here's the lover's oracle you know you are the ones that have to say if um somebody is going to be with you or not now here we got this person looking at you like this feeling like you're going to leave them virgo well uh you know sadness in their eyes it says don't make decisions based on guilt or what you think you should do. For it is only in being true to yourself that you can be true to others, okay? So, you know, this person, 
uh, needs to stop trying to guilt you and or making you feel bad uh, about other people being interested in you just because you are beautiful. But you have love and you are uh, on the wings of this love and this light is something that you feel for them, my darling. Said the past is now behind you. Release it and embrace new possibilities. A new path is now available to you. Follow it with faith. So I guess what you're telling this person that the path is ahead of y'all. You know what I'm saying? That they need to go ahead and embrace the possibilities of you. Uh, you know, I mean, the path is behind y'all. You have a future ahead of y'all. Embrace the new possibilities of you having a loving relationship with them, okay? Now here we got this one right here. It says, close your eyes and tell yourself that you deserve to feel joyful. And you can allow joy into your life regardless of the circumstances you currently find yourself in, okay? So while they currently find themselves in some type of jealousy, some type of, uh, you know, uh, rage and, and, and enviousness or jealousy because people want you, they have to go ahead and close their eyes and tell themselves that they deserve this relationship, that they deserve you, that they deserve happiness, regardless of their current circumstances, that people are interested in you, Virgo. Like I said, there isn't anything you could do about that, my love. Okay, and you need to tell this person to stop trying to make you feel guilty. I mean, what they want you to do, uh, you're not going to dress down and not take care of yourself, you're not going to have your hair not done because then how would they be looking at you? Because you're looking at it like, okay, you're trying to dress yourself up and be beautiful and be handsome for them. You know, that's your mate right there, but they're thinking other people looking at you. So what they want you to do, walk around with your hair uh, unkept, your clothes, uh, you know, looking like some type of uh, bum on the street. <laughs> Virgo, you are not going to do that. And they need to know that's not anything you want to do, baby. Regardless, that's not something you ever going to do, regardless of how uh, they feeling about you, okay? You're going to keep yourself up to date. You're going to keep yourself looking good, and they're just going to have to go ahead and accept that, okay? Uh, but they need to know that it is for them, and it is for you alone. Now, Virgo, if this has been your message, then uh, hit that like share subscribe to my channel hit the bell notifier to know when i will be uploading new messages for you my darling now if this is not your message then don't worry about that i'm just going to get you next time okay so until next time love peace love and light hold up